his name was Ray Wilson. Um, he was a, uh, he ended up retiring uh, after 20 plus year career in the Army um, as a CW4. An inspirational example of someone who overcame a lot of adversity uh, to realize his goals. So he grew up um, in, you know, he was born right after World War II, came of age during the, the Civil Rights era, um, and was born into poverty. And so there's a lot of things that were stacked against him from the beginning. And he just had a fantastic character, great attitude, overcame it all, uh, was able to become a pilot in the Army uh, when that was not something that was really open a lot to, to someone like Ray. So we went up to uh, Minneapolis uh, and uh, just before a great big storm came in and had a good time, uh, we met him in a local hotel there. Uh, so we you know, rented out a conference room and had him come in and uh, had a great two days just talking with him about, about what he did and what he did for the, for the Army and, and for the uh, for men in uniform period. It was good to listen to him and get a sense of how much people that I'm going to lead are faced with this as well. Um, he grew up without a lot of heroes in aviation that looked like him. And that, I have to be aware of that when I, where I'm going, you know, what message am I sending as a commander in my awards program who gets awarded? Um, and the plaques that are on the wall, the heroes that are on the wall, um, that resonated with me.